Mailbag time here on the Cowboys Report. Use hashtag Cowboys or Super Chat. First up from Destroyer Dog, which team on the schedule will be the biggest challenge? Cop out answer, Baltimore Ravens. I think they're the best team the Cowboys play. They're not going to have an easy time defending Lamar Jackson, assuming he's healthy, of course. I'm going to go with the Ravens there. Rashard Lee, do you think Dak and CD connection will be good? I think maybe not necessarily in week one, but I think by the end, yes, it will be a good connection. I think it'll take some time, but it is going to be a good connection. Remember the Michael Gallup connection. It, it wasn't overnight. That took some time. It, it took them a little bit longer to develop the chemistry. So I have faith in that CD Lamb and Dak Prescott connection, but I don't anticipate overnight they got it just like that. It'll take a couple of games, especially in an abbreviated preseason offseason setup. From uh, Word of Grace Fellowship Union, New Jersey, what are the conditions imposed for Smith? I don't know if we ever got the exact details on that, but it's the conditional reinstatement process for Alden Smith. It's it's pretty typical in terms of like the, okay, you know, you have to make sure you're doing the right things, check in with us. Hey, you know, you're, we're still going to do, do some testing for you, make sure that you're, everything's good on you. I, I think the key change for the NFL is, as Gregory's agent has said, less on the punishment, more on the player rehabilitation stuff. So there's not, there's not going to be anything draconian, I don't think. But as long as Alden Smith stays out of trouble, he's going to be able to play for the Dallas Cowboys. From Dallas Watkins, will we be able to re-sign both Van Der Esch and Gallup? Good question. Now, part of this is on what the cap looks like. The NFL's expectation before the Big C hit was a massive skyrocket jump. You're talking almost doubling it. It's a huge number. In that case, oh yeah, they can afford to do it. If things are a little bit more nuanced, more steady, early on, they're going to borrow against some of the future cap hit. Yes, you can re-sign both. I don't know if you're going to re-sign Gallup and Cooper and Keith C.D. Lamb. I would wonder if the way that Cooper's contract is structured, if maybe you trade Cooper after two years. Just a possibility. And meanwhile, with Leighton Van Der Esch, let's see him stay healthy. Because that neck is a concern, regardless of what the Cowboys want to say. That one's worth monitoring. So I think they'll keep Gallup. Van Der Esch, I'm not so, so sure on, at least as of right now. From Barrett B 49 what is the most you could get for Tristan Hill? A fifth? Maybe? A sixth? Um, what, how much power did the Raiders give Rod Marinelli? Because maybe you could swindle them for like P.J. Hall straight up or a, a draft pick of some type. So I, I don't think you're going to get much for Tristan Hill. Maybe you get something. And at that point, you just cut your, you just cut your losses and try to move on. We had a C.D. Lamb question earlier. So this one, I don't think you guys are going to like that much. Blame producer Alicia. Who will end up as the better number 88? D for Dez or C for C Lamb? Obviously, Michael's the best. No disrespect to Drew Pearson either, but I think it's Michael. D for Dez or C for CD Lamb? The safe bet is Dez Bryant because we've seen his career, and it was pretty darn good. Maybe CD Lamb, though, intrigues you. I mean, he went before Dez in the draft, so keep your votes coming. D for Dez, C for CD Lamb. It's fairly close, but I think the C's actually are winning right now. From King J Super Chat, thank you, my man. Can Fossil fix that awful unit they called special teams last year? And do you think he can fix Chris Jones? I think we need a new punter. Dustin, he means Dustin Colquitt, I assume. Look, I, I cut Chris Jones. I've made that very clear. I don't know why the Cowboys are keeping him. I don't think he's that good of a player. I, I'd cut him right now. Save the million you can get. Equal, like, Jones was the worst punter in the NFL last year. I can find that guy for next to nothing. I don't need to pay that guy. My hope is that, yes, Fossil can fix special teams. The Cowboys, it, look, you had one of the worst, if not worst, starting positions in pretty much every game you played. That's setting a team up for failure. Those hidden yardages, they come back to kill you. So if, if I'm the Cowboys, I hope Fossil can fix it. Otherwise, it's going to be more of the same. All right, some s'more super chats coming in from Bijan Manzuri. Trade Lewis, I assume you mean Jordan Lewis, to Carolina for a fifth and a seventh. You know what? 
I actually think that's maybe about the right value for him. I heard producer Brett laugh, so I assume he was ma making fun of a, 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 another trade coming in. I think it's about right. Jordan Lewis does not carry the value that the free Jordan campaign has tried to get on him. Just the reality of the situation. Plus, one year left on his deal. I think fifth and seventh is probably pretty close to your max, right? unless the team gets wild and crazy with it. From Ethan Tyra, you forgot the Olawale and Onalua uh, battle. Oh, defense only. That's fullback. So, my friend, Ethan, I know you're subscribed. Pay attention because we will have the offensive battles in terms of roster battles coming up in a future video. So hit the big red button, subscribe, notification set it to on. That way you don't miss out. We'll break down receiver, left guard, center, maybe maybe quarterback as well, fullback of course too. So yes, Ethan, it wasn't forgotten. It's just coming up later on in a little bit. From Brian Parson, Cooper moved to slot with Gallup Lamb on the outside. You will see some of that. My suspicion is that early on, Lamb will play more of the slot. He didn't do a ton of it at Oklahoma, but one of the areas you're concerned about him coming out is his ability to handle press. He's not the biggest guy, plays tough, but a little bit wiry, not, not super hugely built, hasn't faced much of it in the NFL or at, at college. In the slot, you face less press. You, you, you get that, that bonus cushion because you're playing off the line. So I think you'll see Lamb start that a little bit. But in reality, all three of those guys can play slot. I would like to see Cooper in there the most. I think he'll thrive in that area. But Cooper, Gallup, Lamb, all of those guys will end up playing outside slot. Hopefully, they'll all end up producing. A lot of questions coming in. Thank you guys very much. We're not going to get to all of them. We, we don't have the, the, the sheer hour and time available to actually get that done. So hit me up on Twitter. DM me your questions. You can tweet them to me. My DMs are open if you want. I post, I think, funny stuff about the Cowboys as well. All kinds of Cowboys stuff I'm posting, and NFL Draft stuff too, on my Twitter account. So if you have questions, want more coverage, if you're on Twitter, it's at WhatGoingDowny. Ethan Tyra, I am subscribed. I, I know you're subscribed, Ethan. And then those names. Yeah, the Cowboys like having weird named fullbacks, huh? Or at least tricky named fullbacks. It's kind of funny how that all works out. Thank you, Ethan. Hope everyone else is like Ethan and they're subscribed as well. Alan Williams, how confident are you in the defense overall after the moves on defense? I feel better about the direction they're heading. Is, is that a, a fair cop-out answer? It's not really answering the question. I was worried entering the draft because you lose Robert Quinn, you lose Byron Jones. I liked getting Diggs, Gallimore, adding Robinson as well. I, I like the route they're, he they're heading, but I don't trust the secondary right now. I simply don't. It's going to take some time, if not this later on this year, probably into next year. So for the Cowboys, I am not confident in the defense. I just need them to be better. I need them to be average or so because my offense is going to be great. And at that point, I can get by with a lesser defense if my offense continues to carry the team. That's why I like what they went with C.D. Lamb in round one. Go all in on Team 40 Burger, if you will. Now, if you want a C.D. Lamb jersey, I found some for 80 bucks for you guys. It's chatsports.com slash C.D. Jersey. One more time, it's chatsports.com slash cdjersey. Free shipping as well, both the two styles slash colors we showed you guys. So that link's in the comment, it's in the description. If you want your lamb jersey, get it right now. That way it's here in plenty of time before week one of the season actually starts. From JGL Reed, what do we have in Gifford? Uh, great question, right? Haven't seen a whole lot of him. Um, I think in terms of this year, how about a key special teamer? Now, when he came back from injury, the Cowboys put him on the special teams unit, and then they benched him because they blamed him for a, a lapse in kick coverage units, and I'm not sure what was his fault, but that's beside the point. Maybe you can develop him into a number three or four linebacker. I don't think he's going to be better than Smith or, or Lee, but I think ideally cheap depth on special teams and behind your top linebackers. If you get that out of the UDFA, you should feel ecstatic. From V Killets for the win, do you think the Cowboys will re-sign either Awuzie or Lewis, or do we move on to Diggs and Robinson? I would say it's that there's a 
zero percent chance both are back for stars. I don't see them both re-signing. I just that that math does not add up to me, unless they move the Louisiana safety any balls out or something. I think that one could be back. I think there's a very real chance though that the Cowboys move on to Diggs and Robinson, or they spend another first round pick on corner next year. I, I think they're going to move on from Woozy and Lewis because the moves they've made so far, they want bigger guys. That's not Cheeto or Jordan. Daniel Moriarty, if and when we get Jamal Adams, does this move make the Cowboys the best team in the NFC? I still wonder if the Saints or Niners would be better, or at least in that same discussion, but I think you'd be up there inside that, that top three for the NFC which, heck, you might be on the outside looking into it right now, but maybe it puts you into that discussion. Now, we know there are a lot of Jamal Adams questions, so we made a video only on Jamal Adams answering everything you need to know about a trade, the cost of it, some trade ideas, the extension as well, all of it. It's on the channel right now in the live chat if you're watching live on YouTube as well, so check it out. It's everything you need to know about a Jamal Adams trade. From King J. What, another super chat. Thank you, King J. Uh, what can we expect from Dak in the McCarthy system? My hope is that you see a lot more out of the entire Cowboys offense what you saw from the Cowboys offense in the first three games of the year. That offense was different. Yes, they were playing worse teams, but the way they called plays, the, the way they ran the offense, more play action, less runs on first down, that's my hope. Again, I, I, I want to make Zeke not ignore him. I want to maximize him late in game. I, I want to let Dak sling it early, keep defenses off balance, run play action. I would rather run it or run it on second and three because you had a nice seven-yard play action pass than run it on first down. I think that, that is a better path to, to sustained drives in the NFL. Now, that's a little bit of an almost hot take in, in, as, as we sit right now overall in the NFL, but that'd be my goal out of the Cowboys offense. Spidey, do you think Dak will be one day better than Brady? If you mean from a career perspective, no. I, I, I don't think it's realistic or fair or even sane to think that Dak Prescott is going to have a better career than the greatest quarterback to ever do it. That's just setting yourself up for disappointment. Now, if you mean like right now this year in terms of their play I think Dak is better than Brady right now that's why the Cowboys didn't pursue Brady because Dak's a better quarterback and the price wasn't worth to even consider a downgrade there so no he's not going to be better career wise I don't know if their peaks will be as good probably not Brady was a perennial MVP candidate but right this second I do think Dak's a better player now, we did not get to all of your questions, and I, I, I'm sorry. I know that there's a lot of you guys watching. Thank you all very much. Ooh, 669, great number right there. So if we didn't get to your questions, hit me up on Twitter. I am at WhatGoingDowny. DM me anything you guys want to know on the Dallas Cowboys. Hey, Cowboys fans. Thanks for watching the Cowboys Report. If you haven't already, click right here to subscribe to our channel for all the best Cowboys coverage on the Internet. That's news. Rumors, highlights, mailbags, film studies, and a whole lot more. And I'm making your lives a little bit easier as well with the next Cowboys Report video right here.